Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to speed up and save battery life on your OnePlus 6T. These are the first things you should do as soon as you get this phone. So let's get started. First, let's go into settings and do our old traditional thing, which is unlocking developer options. So first we're just going to go to about phone, then we're gonna swipe all the way up and hit build number repeatedly. Once we get that, we're gonna to have to enter our password if you do have one. And then we are now going to be a developer. So the reason why this is so important is because developer options allows us to speed up all the animations that run on this phone so your phone will remove faster. So we're gonna to go to developer options and we're gonna scroll all the way down till we get to the drawing category. And once we're in the drawing category, we're gonna change the three things that say animation and scale to 0.5. This will speed up your overall experience. Another thing I like to do uh, just to get more real estate out of your screen, you can try it and then change it back if you want to, but change the smallest width to a little bit higher number. I personally like 450. What that does is it just makes it so you have a little bit more real estate in your display so I can fit more now than I just did a second ago. So it's just a really nice way to get more on your screen uh, without sacrificing anything. Okay, now that we did that, we're going to then go to recent app management. What this allows you to do is instead of normal clear, which is the standard, you're gonna to go to deep clear. This makes it so that when you close all of your apps, they're completely closed. So they're not running in the background or anything along those lines. They are completely closed now. So it's just really good if your phone is uh, running slow or the memory is being used up too much, you can uh, help alleviate some of that pressure. Okay, then we want to go to display. So there's gonna be a couple of things here. Uh, first, I would never use adaptive brightness. You're better off keeping your brightness at 70 to 80%. It's just a much better experience overall. Uh, and it won't uh, allow you to have screen burn in if you keep it lower, uh, never go too bright. Then you wanna turn on night mode. It's just a great thing to have. Set your time that you wanna have it at and you're going to uh, have a much better experience at night and hopefully fall asleep quicker. You're gonna to want to turn off the notch, of course, so hide the notch area. I know this notch isn't too bad, but still it just looks so much nicer without it. Plus having that screen always be black at the top helps save you on battery life. Okay, then you're gonna to want to go to ambient display and you're gonna to want to turn on tap to show. So this just makes it so that if you tap the screen, it will show uh, up to the point where you can unlock it or just you don't have to always raise it, which isn't really important to me because sometimes I just want to keep my phone at the table and just be able to unlock it. And it's just a much better experience that way. Then from there, we want to scroll down and change the theme, of course, to dark. The reason why, again, is saving battery life. Yes, the light theme is nice looking and even the colorful one's okay, but the dark theme is going to save you battery, so make sure you keep it at that. Change it to whatever color accent your heart wishes. And then we're gonna scroll down and go to the status bar. I recommend doing several things. So one, I actually hide the battery because if you show the battery percentage, you don't really need the battery because you know your battery percentage is all you need. So yeah, that's just much better for me. And again, it saves uh, the little space you have between the notch, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, icon manager, these are a couple of ones that I turn off uh, just so, again, it's not so cluttered up there. Feel free to turn more off, but those are just uh, a couple of the ones that I recommend. And then we're going to go to the next part, which is going to be buttons and gestures. So in this section, you're going to want to do a couple of things. The alert slider, you can customize if you wish, but the main thing is going to be the navigation. I really do think back home and recents is still way better than either of these two. And just, I, I feel like it gives you a better overall experience. Now you do want the ability to uh, hide the notch so you can, uh, or sorry, hide the task bar, navigation bar. So you can turn that on or off very simple and easily and customize these so you really uh, like it. Like I even have a long press to turn my screen off, which again is just a nice uh, ability to have. So I really recommend just doing these quick little things so that you can really be happy with exactly how you want your phone set up. 
Then you're gonna go to quick gestures. Uh, I definitely recommend doing the three shots, uh, three fingers for a screenshot. The double tap to wake is definitely a uh, one that I recommend. It's just a lot easier for that purpose. And uh, of course you can customize these. I don't really care for them as much. Uh, I just don't find it as useful. But if you wish, you can customize those as well. Turn quick camera on just so you can double tap the power button and launch the camera right away. Definitely a good one to always go for. And under your battery, make sure you have your battery saver on at a certain percentage, whatever you want that to be. Then finally, you want to make sure adaptive battery and battery optimization is on all apps that you want optimized. If there's any app that you want to run in the background and never uh, turn off, then you want it to be not optimized, for instance. Uh, but other than that, you definitely want it optimized so your battery life will last longer. All right, then the last part we want to go to, I can never remember where it is, so we're just gonna do a search, and that is for location. And under location, you're going to want to go to scanning and turn off Bluetooth scanning. It's not necessary and it definitely drains your battery because this makes sure the Bluetooth is on even when you tell it to turn it off. So now that you've done a few of these things, you are going to have a much, much faster experience. If you're wondering why mine looks a little bit different than yours, I am using Nova Launcher. Uh, OnePlus is great, but I still prefer Nova Launcher over it. It's just uh, a nicer experience to me and very customizable. That's why we like Android. So uh, the other last thing you wanna do is get rid of any apps if you do have the T-Mobile variant. So if you don't need something on there, then you can just hold it down and of course uninstall it. Uh, this is obviously just so that, again, if you're not using an app, get rid of it. Don't have it on your device. All right, guys. Hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up. What other things do you want to see this phone go up against and compare to? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you, as always, for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're going to find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.